Hello, my name's Dan Mayhew. I'm head teacher of Valley Academy. Uh, welcome to the school. I'd like to show you around and introduce you to a few uh, members of staff. Hi, my name's Jill Mayhew. I'm in charge of PE at uh, Old Valley Academy. I'd like to welcome you to our school gym to start with. As you can see, we've got lots of trampolines in here which are used in our curriculum lessons. We have lots of clubs with expert outside coaches who come in to use the trampolines. And we have lots of fixtures for our students so that they can compete with other schools on the trampoline. So that's just one area of our school. But I will talk to you a bit more about that in detail in a moment. Before that, I'd like to talk to you about the staff in the PE department at Old Valley Academy. We've got Mr Kelso, who many of you might know through the uh, school games competitions that you've been involved in. And he's largely our, our main male PE teacher in school and does a lot of the uh, extracurricular activities for um, sports like basketball, football, girls and boys, and also for rugby for girls and boys as well. Um, we've also got Mr Ketchingham, who's our deputy head teacher, who also teaches PE in uh, Old Valley PE department. Myself and Mrs Watlin um, teach PE um, as well. As there's always four groups on PE, so that the groups are small. Progress is made in lessons, hopefully, to show you that you can, can, can be successful at any level within a physical education curriculum. Um, it's really important that you recognise that we do lots of different sports at Old Valley Academy because we've got the facilities. We've got access to the Lace and Leisure Centre where we can play basketball, badminton. We also swim. It usually in the January to February half term, it's compulsory for every student in the school to swim. We believe this is really important. We live so close to the sea. And it's a life skill and it's something that we really do encourage within school. In line with that, we also do a swimming club. So if you're not very confident on a Tuesday after school, we do swimming every Tuesday evening, which is supervised by staff and by the Leisure Centre pool staff. And it is on a recreational basis. It's not competitive. It's to develop your skills, your confidence. And it's a really nice sociable club that any student in the school can attend after school on a Tuesday. Um, in terms of the, the curriculum itself, we have a, what I would call a broad and balanced curriculum. Every student in Year 7 will have access to a range of sports. I've already mentioned several of them. We do team games um, of, of hockey, netball, football, rugby. We do all the striking games of um, rounders, cricket. And we do a lots of net games. You can see in the background here, there's table tennis. That's the strong area in school. We've got nine table tennis tables, which we can set up in the school hall, which we use for lesson time and are also used at lunch times and also after school for school club. So we've got lots of facilities that we'd like you to use to get involved in and really embrace the excitement and the engagement of Old Valley Academy of the PE department. There's so much to do, there's so many facilities. We really would encourage you to get involved early when you come to the school. In terms of yourself and PE, obviously you will need your PE kit, which hopefully your parents and yourselves are looking at in terms of what you need for September, hopefully, if we get back into school on the new normal. Um, PE kit will include a good pair of training shoes, not beach shoes, uh, trainers that support your ankles and actually have got a good grip on them because obviously it's really important that you are safe in PE. As you can see, I've got my hair up. We are expected to wear our hair up if we are um, in any activity so that you are safe for yourself and you can get involved without having to worry about what if your hair is in your eyes, etc. Um, in terms of hockey and football, we encourage shin pads. Um, you can purchase a gum shield if you would like to for rugby and for hockey. But usually we tend to say the gum shields are for club time, not lesson time. But again, that is completely to your own discretion and to your own choice. Um, from that point of view, I think PE is um, something that I would hope that you've all engaged in already through the primary school games. And if you haven't, then you would want to come to the academy and get involved straight away in whatever clubs are on. There's a full clubs timetable after school. We do lots and lots of fixtures against other schools in a variety of sports. But if you're not competitive in team game situations, there's other clubs you can join. The trampoline I've mentioned is a sociable club. Swimming is a sociable club. We're going to show you also our new school gym, which is about health and well-being, obviously. And we'd like you to be able to use that facility as well in lesson time and out of school time. So here we are in our new, relatively new fitness suite at Old Valley Academy. These 
machines that you can see behind me, of which there are 18 machines in total just for cardiovascular uh, workouts. These were given to us by the Lace and Leisure Centre when they did their new refurb, which obviously we have got access to as well as a school. So these machines are used in all key stages. We use them in seven, eight and nine. You will find yourself for some of your lesson time looking at your health and fitness in this gym, not using the weights that you can also see behind me, but using the cardiovascular machines so that we can set your workout to your own ability and your personal development. Um, actually, the last time I was in here was on the week before lockdown in March when we were doing our sports relief challenge to raise money for sport relief itself. And this gym was full of students working out, raising money for sport relief itself. Um, a fantastic atmosphere in here and students do enjoy working in this gym. And it's a great addition to our many facilities at All Valley Academy for PE. Um, when I'm talking about fitness, hopefully some of you will have heard about the lockdown athletics we're doing in All Valley Academy this, this half term to raise money for the NHS. We're doing the couch to 5K. And all students and staff have been encouraged to get involved and to download the app and obviously to run and train so that when we come back in September, we can have our alternative sports day, if you like. The alternative is not to be competitive, but to do a fun run based on the training that hopefully staff and students have done at All Valley Academy so that we can raise some money for the NHS and our Couch to 5K challenge. I know that um, some of you are aware of it through brothers and sisters, and I know that the school has talked to you, parents, about it on the vlog already. So hopefully when you get your letter about coming to All Valley Academy, you'll see that in your letter, and maybe some of you might want to get involved before September by joining the Couch to 5K challenge, which would be fantastic if you want to do that, and it will show just like all the other students in school, that we are engaged in our health and our well-being at the academy here. It's vitally important that you look after your physical health and hopefully that will benefit your mental health. Parents are welcome to get involved too. So please, if you want to get involved in our challenge, just let us know and we'll give you the details that you need to get involved. Um, as well as being in charge of um, PE at the academy, I'm also a head of faculty for performance arts. Now, within that faculty, there is art itself, which many of you know, Mr. Hanger, hopefully. And when you came for your open evening, you did some art um, activities with Mr. Hanger and you, and you hopefully enjoyed that experience as well. So we've got Mr. Hanger who will talk to you himself about the arts in the Academy, hopefully, in his own um, video link. And we've also got music and drama. Some of you hopefully came last year to watch our School of Rock production, which was very heavily endorsed by our um, drama and music department. And this year we were gonna do Aladdin. Unfortunately, all things, were, all bets were off, everything was stopped. But hopefully sometime next summer when things are back to new normal, we will get a production again at the Academy here that you might want to become involved in. So drama is very much um, skills-based and fun-based in year seven. And Mrs. Manders will talk to you more about that in her own video. And hopefully some of you will recognise Mrs. Manders from the production if you came to see the School of Rock itself. Music, we have lots of music going on in lesson time. Every student's got access to their own keyboard so that they can learn music through the keyboard system. We've got clubs, external um, musicians come in. We've got drum, drumming teachers, guitar teachers got a piano teacher and a singing teacher actually so if you the voice is your instrument you can use that just after christmas we had um involvement from a, a very large organization with music to encourage small bands in the school and uh, about 15 to 20 students of ours were involved in creating their own small bands for a long period of time after school to work with this outside agency so music opportunities drama opportunities lots of art opportunities in the faculty and hopefully when you come to Old Valley Academy, you'll really enjoy the creative aspect of our school. And it is immense. And I'm very proud of the work that goes on in the faculty in terms of art, music and drama, as well as in PE. And we do hope, as I've said before, that you embrace it all and really want to get involved in the creative part of your school life.